that is given to us concerning the, the choices that we make, concerning what we can allow and don't allow, that um, people need to be aware of that ideal that we have a choice to allow uh, somebody in our life and uh, we have a, a choice to not allow people in our life. <clears throat> and guess what? Things can happen to us, good or bad, and we can allow that good thing to impact our life or we can allow that bad thing to impact our life. We have that choice uh, to make to allow the sit people or situations and circumstances to impact us. And the thing is, the ideal of giving authority is as what you see like in security uh, ideal that people uh, work in security that you have to have a code to uh, know the code and type the code in order for you to get in there, you have to be authorized. You know, you the the, the or they you know they you put your fingerprint on there to scan who you are, and more likely you have to have the authority. You have to be authorized to enter into certain places, and that's the same ideal as authority or the ideal of authority that you. You 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 place somebody in a position in your life, like what people don't realize. Like you know, there is a buddy, there is a friend, and there is a best friend. What people don't realize when you say that someone's your buddy or friend or best friend or girlfriend or boyfriend or husband and wife, you have uh, gave that person a position, a position. That that person must understand that they're authorized concerning my life for you to be in places in my heart. Yeah, you you uh, when you give a person a title, you give like you know the ideal of you know in army you are a a general or a a, a commander. There's certain authority clearance that you can have to enter in certain places to see classify information. It's the same idea concerning what we do with our friends and best friends and boyfriend and girlfriends and husbands and wives. We give authority uh, entrance in certain things in our lives. You know what I'm saying? We allow people... To we can allow people to speak to us, allow people to do certain things to us, and and the thing is that is up to the individual concerning of what you give, allow people to have, allow and don't allow. See, and that's what authority is all about: allow and don't allow. Like for instance, God, God, you know, has in the there's an authority that uh, God has given us concerning this earth that he that in that authority we are allowed to do certain things and and not allowed to do certain things. But how are we supposed to follow the laws and the instructions of his creation will determine as much authority that is given to us and we can have. But if we do not follow his instructions, that authority that is not allowed, you know what I'm saying, that we must understand concerning, you know, uh, this uh, agree, uh, our relationship with God. Now, as what it says in um, Matthew's 13, uh, no, no, Matthew's 23 and, and 13, that it said that Jesus was talking to the scribes and Pharisees, and it says that you know, that woe unto you Pharisees, for the kingdom of heaven has shut its shut up itself to you. It has shut up. It has not given you the power or the access that you're supposed to have. Sorry. Oh. It did not give you the power and the access for you to have concerning heaven. 
And that's what we uh, you supposed to know about the uh, Matthew's eighteen eighteen. Whatsoever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. So whatsoever you loose on earth is loose in heaven. That is an ideal of uh, access of certain things that you have that God has to give you the authority for concerning you follow the instructions. Pretty much <clears throat> is what the ideal that people don't realize that they have given people authority. You know what I'm saying? And and they have given people authority over their lives. And now what people and their act, concerning people actions towards you and what they say to you, we you allow them to have access in certain places in your heart. Dangerous thing to do when majority the mass majority of people are influenced by negative information concerning how to treat people based upon the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes, pride of life. You know what I'm saying? People are in a flawed state as we know, born in sin, shaped with iniquity, to allow a person in a bad condition spiritually access to your heart or access to your soul, access to your mind is dangerous, pretty much. And thing is, People need to understand and be well aware that, guess what? It's important, but understand the st stipulations. You know, and here's the thing, because I, you know, know this person. Um, this person has been hurt in, in her life and, and by someone, you know what I'm saying? Someone that unfortunately... Uh, she, she gave, I mean, she gave access and to a person. That person mistreated that person. And in that access that we give concerning our hearts to towards people can uh, 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 mess up our, our viewpoint of ourselves and our viewpoint to other people. You know what I'm saying? And, and, un, and unfortunately, you know, we, the wicked world system that we have is people are following a direction that they're on uh, they will find themselves in the result of mistreating people in some shape, in some form a way that in, in, in that mistreatment people have given these people access to their hearts and soul and mind and what happens is when in that mistreatment can mess up the function with inside a person uh, a heart, soul, and mind to now uh, keep hurt in there, you know, that a, a lot of people are uh, carrying hurt inside of them concerning of the uh, how others treated you that you gave authority, you gave access to this relationship that you maintain with them and they mistreated that, you know, uh, authority, pretty much. And now you you're now afraid to. Some people are afraid to have relationships, certain relationships, whether it's friend, best friend, boyfriend, girlfriend, husband and wife. You're afraid to have now relationship with certain people and distance people because of how he was mistreated by another person. Uh, how now you can cultivate certain relationships with people. Now, we need to, and that's why it's important, we need to be aware of what or who are we giving authority in our, to, in our life to have access. And, oh yeah, what? Inf yeah, I forgot to talk about what. Information. You give authority to the television, radio, uh, internet, your environment, you allow certain information in your ears and your eyes to uh, come inside and to present something to you to for you to make deem this thing is right or wrong. And unfortunately, people, because like I said, they're uh, born in sin with iniquity. They're they're allowing a negative access of information inside of them. And deeming this negative access is right, you know, as what it says, Isaiah 5 and 20. 
They make good evil and evil good. They allow information, you know, because they desire to they they desire to do this information to allow this access of information inside them. And now this is how they will make their decisions based upon it. And they're making bad decisions because of this uh, uh, information they allowed in them and creates a catastrophe for everybody. Well, I'm going to read the scripture, Matt, uh, Hebrews 12 and uh, 1. Uh, no, uh, 12 and 2. Looking to Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Now, notice the word author, author, authority, that I'm looking at Jesus as my authority. I'm looking at him as the one that's supposed to, that I'm giving, I'm allowing in my heart, I'm allowing in my soul, I'm allowing in my mind to give authority in my life to teach me how to live life and life more abundantly is what the whole ideal of a Christian is supposed to be about doing, learning his word. And Jesus Christ is the word of God. So you allow the word of God authority in your life to help teach you how to love someone, how to have joy, how to have peace, how to have faith, how to have pretty much the things of God in our life is what uh, as a Christian, we're supposed to understand that we're doing. And there are certain things that we're not supposed to allow other people than God and Jesus Christ authority to areas in our hearts. You know what I'm saying? Because here's the thing that I learned as a Christian. I can only love. I can only have joy. I can only have peace. I can only have anything concerning the things of God based upon heaven based upon God through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I, by my own ability, by Matt Johnson's own ability, I cannot truly love someone. I cannot truly have joy. I cannot truly have peace. I cannot truly have a uh, better way of, of judging and making better decisions in my life based upon Matt on my own ability. And, 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 it, and, and, I will, and in that, I have to be careful of who I give authority concerning the relationships that I have around me concerning access to my heart. I have to put things in pretty much proper perspective of how I cultivate my relationships with people based upon the rules of God through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I can only give access or authority to certain areas of my heart to a people that we must understand that balance that if we want to truly love people, we must do that. But if you're allowing people that are flawed, that are born in sin, shape with iniquity, access and authority to your heart, your soul and mind that you know that are have in them to mistreat and to use and abuse that access. That's your fault based upon how you handle your authority that is given to you that you have the power to allow something in and allow something to get out or allow whatever information to come in and whatever information come out that is supposed to be your responsibility concerning your authority that you cannot be like saying that it's everybody else's fault that my life is terribly bad. No, it's how much you gave access to your authority to those that are around you, you know what I'm saying, is what the fault. Your authority is the fault of what you gave access of information concerning yourself. And you need to take responsible of the access and information to authority that you're giving to people is what is what this uh this video is all about. Giving a what or who are you giving authority to in your life is supposed to be the number one fault of any disaster happening, whether between a relationship with a person or relationship with God. How much you give access of information and everything else is how your life is going to determine based upon the authority that you give out and authority that you not allow access in.
All right, that's the message. Hope you guys got this glory to him forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen.